Hi guys. So let's see how we can name this particular organic compound. So first of all, it's important to note that this compound, uh, the parent chain of this particular compound is uh, the ring that we have that has uh, five carbons attached to it. So just to name the carbons, uh, let's start with this. Here where there's bromine, this is carbon number one, this is number two, this is number three, number four, and this is number five. So we have five carbons around it. Now to these five carbons, we have a substituent at one, two, and four. So let's uh, list down these substituents. So let's start with the methyl. At carbon number four, there's a methyl. So we can say four methyl, four methyl. Okay, at carbon number one, there's a bromine. At carbon number two, there's uh, this part, which is also known as uh, a cyclobutyl. So let's start with uh, the cyclobutyl. So remember, um, at carbon number two, we have this uh, this uh, compound in form of a box. Let's just count the carbons to this particular compound. So there's one, two, three, four. Now we know that four in organic compound, uh, the prefix is a but, right? Now it is a but if what you have is a straight chain. But since it's a cyclo, it's enclosed, then this becomes a cyclobutyl. So if that's the case, let's just go back to this. So if that's the case, we're going to say at carbon number two, there's a cyclo. Cyclo means that it's enclosed. Cyclo a butyl, not butane, because it's a substituent. Cyclobutyl. Also, at carbon number one, there's a bromo. Okay, then the parent has five attached to it. So again, these five carbons in the parent um, chain, in this case, is a, a, a cyclic compound. If they're in a straight chain, it then becomes a pentane. But since it's enclosed, this becomes a cyclopentane. So, uh, cyclo, cyclopent cyclopentane like that. So this is the name of this particular compound. So there we have it. Thank you very much.